Meghan Markle and Prince Harry latest, is this where Sussexes will move with baby Archie? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have now completed their final round of royal engagements. So where will the Sussexes be living with baby Archie in the future? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex flew back to the UK in recent weeks for their final appearance as senior royals. For the past few months, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been residing in Canada with their son, baby Archie Harrison. The Sussexes returned to the UK to complete a few final engagements, and were both in attendance at the Commonwealth Day service held at Westminster Abbey on March 9. But away from royal life, Harry and Meghan announced earlier this year they will be dividing their time between North America and the UK in the future. And although details of the Sussexes' future living arrangements have not been confirmed, Harry and Meghan could also be planning to divide their time between two locations in North America. A source told People, Harry is looking straight ahead at his future with his family. They will be spending time in California and in Canada. He's not looking back. L.A. would not be an out-of-the-blue choice for Meghan, who grew up in the city, as it is also the home of her mother, Doria Ragland. Wherever they choose to live, according to a source, the couple want to create their own life after stepping back from royal duties. A royal insider told the publication, this is what Meghan and Harry have always wanted, to create their own life. It's got to feel like an immense relief to get out of the UK and go down their own path. After March 31st, Harry and Meghan will no longer be considered senior, working royals. This means they will be financially independent, and free to pursue their own income. The Sussex family will no longer be eligible for the sovereign grant, which allocates funds to working members of the royal family. Although they are free to pursue their own careers, Harry and Meghan will be subject to a 12-month review period. After leaving senior royal life behind, the Duke and Duchess are determined to continue with their charitable endeavors. A spokesperson told Town & Country, the Duke's priorities remain supporting the welfare of servicemen and women, conservation, sport for social development, HIV, and Travelist which works to mobilize the tourism and travel industry for social good. For the Duchess, her focus remains women's empowerment, gender equality and education. While retaining their his and her royal highness titles respectively, Harry and Meghan will no longer be using such titles actively. This is because the couple will no longer undertake representative duties on behalf of the Queen. And while the couple had hoped to continue with their self-styled brand, Sussex Royal, the couple will no longer be allowed to use the word royal in future brandy. The Sussex Royal website reads, as the Duke and Duchess will no longer be considered full-time working members of the royal family, it was agreed that use of the word royal would need to be reviewed as it pertains to organizations associated with them in this new regard. Harry and Meghan's departure revolved around keeping Archie safe from toxic forces. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to leave the royal family was largely influenced by their desire to keep their son Archie Harrison safe from what they believe are toxic forces. After completing their final royal engagement on Commonwealth Day, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will officially step down as senior royals at the end of March. ABC News royal contributor Omid Scobie spoke to Access Hollywood about how much their son Archie's safety factored into their decision. He revealed the couple believed there were toxic forces at play that were a threat to their family. He told Access, this decision has definitely revolved around Archie, keeping him safe keeping him away from some of what they feel of the toxic forces have been in there, particularly the British tabloids. That's really being key and so they are making sacrifices of their own. They lose a lot of privileges as non-working members of the royal family. We have to remember Harry gave up his honorary military titles which has been probably the toughest pill to swallow for them. Mr. Scobie continued, but ultimately they are doing this all for Archie. They hope that in the long run it will provide the safe family surrounding that they've always wanted. The tabloids often talk about how Harry and Meghan wanted it all. But actually this was all about creating a more positive environment for them and their family. The royal commentator added, they've really dealt with the toxicity of the UK tabloids for a long time. They didn't feel supported or protected as a family by the institution or by the press.
In January they put forward this suggestion to step back and go into part-time roles. Mr. Scobie also said, I think for them this was their idea of kind of it being the only way to solve the situation. I don't think either of them were expecting to be told no. Of course where they're entering now is uncharted territory. They are officially going to be out of the Windsor family as working royals at the end of the month. That's going to come with some nerves and a little bit of excitement. <laughs>